Hi and welcome to another episode of Redken Brymaster. Today we're making pan seared yellowfin tuna steaks with homemade guacamole and a fresh salad. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now we need two tuna steaks, uh, yellowfin as I said, uh, it was a wild um, tuna, it was lion caught off the Maldives. We need a spring onion, an avocado, a lime, some salt and pepper, oil, coriander as well as a tomato. Now for the salad obviously we need salad, we need some oil, vinegar, mustard, sugar, salt and pepper and then I have two little nifty uh, help is here, so one is my little food processor and one is actually for the vinaigrette. Now let's start off with the vinaigrette and it's very simple and I think I've shown you that before. Um, on this, I don't know if you can you can see, but there are uh, you know different vinaigrettes that you can make. Now I'm going to use a very simple one, so we're going to start off with the olive oil. Um, and usually with the olive oil and the balsamic it's usually three quarters to one quarter. But this one obviously helps. So that's the olive oil, then we use some good balsamic vinegar, there you go, we need one teaspoon of mustard and I really like to use Dijon mustard, I think it adds a phenomenal flavor. We're going to add a little bit of brown sugar to it. And as usual, obviously, I'm going to put all the ingredients and the measurements into the description on the video below. And then we're just going to use some salt and some pepper, season to taste, give that a good shake, and then our vinaigrette is already done. Now, obviously, you can go really fancy with it. You can add, you know, um, you can add different herbs to it, different spices, whatever you want to do. But I think that really works, and it's quick. And that's it. Now for the guacamole, um, it's very simple. Obviously you can do that with um, a fork as well, but because I have my little food processor, I'm not gonna bother doing it uh, with a fork. So what you do is you want to add about half of your spring onion um, into the guacamole. The other half we're going to keep to the side because we're going to add that later on to our uh, um, tuna. And we're going to cut that, cut that up in a minute. We're going to add the coriander. Now obviously if you can have fresh coriander that would be great. Um, with the lime, what I like to do because you know they can be very hard at times, you want to like roll them around a little bit and put some pressure on while they're still um, uncut. It makes it easier to squeeze in a minute. And then also with the tomato, you want to take out um, the inner seeds um, because I personally don't think that you know, they should be in a guacamole. So the easiest way to do that is you basically quarter them, take out all that's inside, you know, like just like that. And then you chop it up, especially if you have a food processor, you don't have to worry about it that much. Just throw it in. And then with the avocado, you half it. Take out the seed, obviously this one came out by itself already, which is great. And then you just take a spoon and put the meat of the avocado into your food processor and then you give it a few spins. And then once you're happy with the consistency, you just add a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, obviously, however much you like. Give it a bit of a stir. And then you set it to the side. Now, if you don't eat it immediately, I would suggest that you cover it because obviously the more oxygen that gets to your guacamole, the browner it will get. Um, and obviously, depending on how uh, chunky you like your guacamole, you can, uh, you know, do less spins or more spins. As I said, we're pan searing our yellowfin tuna steaks today. So we're going to add some olive oil into my cast iron skillet and that one's nice and hot and we're just going to put them in. Now, as you've probably noticed, I haven't put any um, salt or pepper onto the steaks yet. We're gonna do that once they've been in uh, on both sides for about uh, 90 seconds. Two minutes are up and we're going to give them a quick flip. All right, we're getting there. Now, I don't want them to um, 
burn just yet or get too much color because we are going to now season them and then turn them back over again and then they will get a nice crusting. Another 90 seconds are up so we're going to flip them again now with the seasoned side down. Season the other side. And now we're going to add the rest of our spring onion into the mix as well. Give them a bit of a sear and then we're pretty much done. All right, a couple of minutes later, we're ready to plate up. So there we have our tuna steak. We'll add some salad to it. Nice mixed leaf salad. The vinaigrette that we made, we're just going to pour it straight over it. And then we're going to add the guacamole to it. And that will, it, will give it some nice freshness. And there you have it guys, our pan seared yellowfin tuna steaks with homemade guacamole and salad. And we're gonna dig in now. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about our pan seared yellowfin tuna steaks uh, with homemade guacamole and some salad. Now it was absolutely delicious. Um, I did it a bit longer than I initially expected. So I said 90 seconds each side. Um, for the first one, I actually did two minutes. For the second one, I did about 90 seconds. So all in all, about three and a half minutes. Um, and it was a perfect medium in the middle. Uh, sorry, uh, I, we didn't have any pictures for it because it was just too delicious and we just ate it <laughs> Yeah, but uh, if you did enjoy the video, I would suggest um, You know try it yourself. It's super easy to make uh, You know super delicious. Yeah, and if you did enjoy the video I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up and uh, please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come And I hope to see you soon again at Redken Brimaster.